Tony Adams, 56, has said goodbye to his fellow Strictly Come Dancing contestant Ali Simmons, 27, in an emotional post today. The Paralympian swimmer was the latest star to be eliminated from the competition in a shocking twist, sparking backlash from some viewers. The former Arsenal captain took to Instagram yesterday to share a sweet picture where he could be seen giving Ellie a big hug after the pair had performed their dances in their respective couples. Following the news of her exit, he wrote, Ellie Simmons is the most remarkable woman I have ever met. What an honor to share a Strictly dance floor. We'll so miss our chats. Sick, last night, Ellie was placed in the bottom two alongside her partner Nogita Kuzman, and the couple were forced to compete in the dreaded dance-off. Molly Reinford and Carlos Gu were the other couple to place in the bottom two, and both pairs battled it out to earn their spot in Week 8. Ellie and Nogita's fate was particularly surprising, considering the fabulous Charleston they danced on Saturday night, which earned them their highest score of the series yet with 33 points. After the pairs danced, however, all four judges agreed to send Ellie and Nikita home. When making his decision, Judge Anton Dubeka said, well, I think both couples can take credit from dancing an absolutely terrific dance-off. But, the couple I'd like to save for making the performance even better than on Saturday night are Molly and Carlos. Molly and Carlos scored high on Saturday night, receiving 35 points from the judges and placing fourth overall. Hamza Yassin and Yovita Gistal topped the leaderboard with 38 points, while Kim Marsh and Helen Skelton came in joined second place with 37. Many fans were shocked to see Ellie go home, as she had never previously dropped into the dance-off. Meanwhile, Tony and his partner Katya have never competed in the dance-off, despite regularly placing at the bottom of the leaderboard. The public took to Twitter to share their thoughts on the situation, with one user named Gene writing, Disgraceful. He was without doubt the worst, who keeps voting for him. About time Tony stood down. He must be aware that he's probably getting a huge football vote. Ridiculous. He needs to go. Can't keep sacrificing good dancers to keep him in. It's fun for a few weeks but he needs to go. Beck fumed. While Sandy penned, strictly rubbish. So now we lose a good dancer to keep this dad dancer in the competition. Maybe time to change the voting system so we keep real talent. Sick, Rach added, I think everyone is trying their hardest but this is silly now. He was clearly lacking some of the difficulty that the others are producing. Not knocking what he has achieved he is doing well for someone without any dance experience and as the oldest competitor. While one of Tony Adams' fans, R, quipped, the replies to this are superb. Strictly diehards are fuming that Tony Adams keeps on being voted through each week clearly completely unaware of the power that Arsenal Twitter has. Strictly Come Dancing returns on Saturday at 6.55pm on BBC One.